Hi, in this video, I will show you how to control an air conditioner using Google Assistant and Google Home. A prerequisite to have this project working is a Java application hosted in Google Cloud that interfaces with Google Smart Home application and sends MQTT messages to your smart device like ESP8266. Please check the video in the right up corner to see how to set up this application. With this application running, you need to define new device air conditioner using this front-end application. For instance, you can click here in this plus signal, and then is this first one, air conditioner. I will just uh, add this one, this new one here, just to see. But I, I'm going to use this one. After you define your device in the front-end application, then at your Google Home app, if you open, then the new device should be visible. Look at when you define a new device, you also get a device ID related. We are going to use this in the Arduino code because your Java application will send MQTT messages using this as a topic. Here in your Google app, if you open the air conditioner, you are going to see the touch control that is in this case here is just on and off but we are going to see that we can also change temperature and change mode using the Google Assistant. When everything is set up just load the Arduino code that you can find in GitHub see on the video description and adapt it to your device ID, MQTT and Wi-Fi credential. This Arduino code was done for a Samsung air conditioner using the library related to Samsung brand. This is the infrared library using in this project for ESP8266. You can go here and in the classes and you can find the related infrared library for your brand. I'm using this one for a Samsung air conditioner. The electronic parts that you need besides the ESP8266, in this case here I'm, I'm using Wemos D1, you need a simple resistor, a transistor and infrared LED. The second part here is for the receiver sensor, it's not mandatory in this project, just in case you cannot find the correct library for your air conditioner brand, then you can use the receiver to adapt the codes from your remote control to turn on, to turn off, and also to change temperature. With this electronic setup, then you can start connecting your Arduino code with your application and receive MQTT messages and send the correspondent infrared signal to your air conditioner. This is the Arduino code for this project. Basically, you have those libraries that you need to import, the library for Wi-Fi connection, the library for MQTT client to receive messages from the Google, Arduino JSON to decode these messages that comes in MQTT, and this library that I mentioned that code the infrared signals to send to your Samsung air conditioner. This one is the one that you need to choose based on your brand that you are using. Here is also your Wi-Fi credential, and this device ID here is the one that you create in the Google front-end application when you define your air conditioner device. The main part of the Arduino code is this function here, message received, when you receive the MQTT messages from your Google application. The topic that you subscribe is the device ID dash client. So whenever you act on the touch control in Google Home or you use Google Assistant to control your air conditioner, then you are going to receive an MQTT message and then based on the message, then you send the correspond signal, infrared signal to your air conditioner. For instance, in case you receive a device on set to true, then 
you send the corresponding message to turn on your air conditioner. The same with false, then you you send the message turn off to your air conditioner. And also when you receive it, this message thermostat temperature set point with a different value than zero, then you set the temperature and send the infrared signal to your air conditioner. And the same for thermostat mode. You can receive cool, heat, quiet, and out in this example here. So let's see this working. So here I have ESP8266 connected. We can also see the serial monitor. So we are going to to see the messages arriving through MQTT in Arduino or ESP8266. So I will start giving commands from Google Home touch control device. I'll just open here. And here is my device air conditioner. So I will turn on the air conditioner by press this button. So as we can see here in the serial monitor, we receive an incoming message with the device ID dash client, the message on set to true. So here in the Arduino code, we can see that we set the air conditioner to on and send the infrared signal to the air conditioner. This is already coded using the library for the Samsung brand. So air conditioner is on as you can see the, in the image. So I will turn off now. So the air conditioner is turning off. This line here was executed and signal infrared signal was sent to the air conditioner. So I will turn on again using the voice command from Google Assistant. Turn on my air conditioner. So as you also can see, I received the same message now from Google Assistant. Now I will change the temperature. You can see that is in 23. I will change it to 25. Change my air conditioner temperature to 25. So as you can see, we receive this message now with the value 25. So this part of the code he here was executed. The temperature was set here and the infrared signal was sent. So now I will change the air conditioner mode to heat. Change the air conditioner to heat. So now is a different message, thermostat mode heat. And this part of the code here below was executed. Set mode was set to heat and also the infrared signal was sent. So I will turn off the air conditioner now by Google Assistant. Turn off my air conditioner. You can also see the air conditioner that is turning off. If you have any question, put in the comments down below and I will answer. Thanks for watching.